crazy gun and tank mechanics. Hollywood and video game developers are in the entertainment industry, and while highly effective in attracting audiences' attention, they often sacrifice historical accuracy for popularity. While they may provide us with an escape from reality, their misrepresentations of guns and tanks can be frustrating, as they often send an inaccurate message about the capabilities of these weapons for the sake of a plotline. Guns are not as light or as accurate as they're often portrayed in the media, and tanks are not invincible machines of destruction. From inaccurate depictions of weight and accuracy to false portrayals of power and usage, Hollywood and video game developers should be examined through a historical lens to better understand how real-life events played out. Video Game Tanks Tanks are frequently and cartoonishly misrepresented in video games. While some games have made attempts to accurately portray the inner workings of a tank and the challenges of operating it, many other games have simply overlooked the array of details that go into the operation of a tank and its crew. Unfortunately, many aspects that show the skill required to operate a tank, such as the limited vision of a tank crew due to the armored hull, the difficulty in aiming a tank gun accurately over long distances, or the need to open the hatches in order to gain a better sense of the situation around the tank, have been scrapped to make gameplay more fun. Indeed, tank crews are not omniscient, and while some games do attempt to simulate some of these elements, they're often simplified and the details are often overlooked. One of the most rampant issues in tank portrayal in video games are tanks that are often presented as if they're invincible and can easily take out enemies with a single shot. This simply isn't true, and tanks in reality require a great deal of skill to use effectively. While a well-placed tank round can certainly change the course of a battle, the odds of hitting a target accurately at a distance while on the move, as is so often the case with video games, is next to zero. Finally, games misrepresent tanks frequently by portraying them as powerful weapons that can easily take out an enemy without support. While tanks can undoubtedly be powerful weapons, they're often vulnerable to infantry and need to be operated with caution. Without support from intelligence crews, infantry, and other tanks, tanks are very vulnerable on the battlefield. While some games have made attempts to portray the challenges of tank warfare accurately, many other games have simply overlooked the tedious details that go into the operation of a tank and its crew. Simple History would like to thank Morgan & Morgan for allowing us to continue delivering content to you. Just like us, Morgan & Morgan has no upfront cost for their service. They'll fight for you free of charge, and you'll pay nothing unless they win your case. With more than 800 attorneys, 24-hour service, and a reputation for winning, Morgan & Morgan will fight to provide you with exemplary legal support in case of injury. If you've been impaled by a sword, had a bookcase fall on you, or trampled by a stampeding army, or, you know, something more normal, you might have a claim. Over 4 million people trust Simple History, and that's why you subscribe to us. And the same can be said for Morgan & Morgan, who deal with over 3 million calls and can fight for you to get three times the amount of money that you get on your own. Click the link in the description and learn more about their services and help support Simple History. Video Game Guns Video game guns have long been a source of entertainment and escapism, but it seems that they've been doing something else, misrepresenting guns. From the weight of the firearms to the accuracy of the sights, video games have been distorting the reality of firearms and making them seem like they're much easier to wield than they actually are. In video games, firearms are essentially weightless and disappear after unequipping them, which allows the user to run, jump, and slide unburdened. In reality, most assault rifles weigh around 8 pounds and are awkward to run with. This inaccuracy makes it much easier for the player in video games to maneuver the gun and shoot with precision. In addition to the weight, the sights of the guns are also highly misrepresented. In real life, iron sights are far from accurate, but in video games, they seem to hit the target with pinpoint accuracy. The steadiness of the firearm is also misconstrued. In video games, aiming is as simple as standing still and pointing the gun, but in real life, it takes a lot of steadiness and control of breath to make a long-distance shot accurately. Video games have to make operating weapons intuitive and entertaining for their audience, but it's important to note that guns are not as easy to use as video games make them out to be. Video games may be a great source of entertainment, but they should not be used as a reference for the actual use of firearms. Hollywood Tanks 
Hollywood's long been known for taking artistic liberties when it comes to the accuracy of its films. This is especially true when it comes to the depiction of tanks in movies. Whether it's an inaccuracy in the type of tank used or the manner in which it's used, Hollywood often fails to represent tanks accurately. Take the iconic movie Patton, for example. While the movie is widely considered one of the greatest war films of all time, it's also widely criticized for its inaccurate portrayal of tanks. Instead of featuring the iconic German Tiger and Panther tanks, the movie instead opts for post-World War II American tanks such as the Walker Bulldog and the M48A3. While these tanks may look similar to their World War II counterparts, they are not the same and the inaccuracies are glaringly obvious to those in the know. More recent films have fared a little better, such as Saving Private Ryan, which made an effort to include either close approximations or exact models of the actual World War II tanks. Unfortunately, these films are still few and far between, and Hollywood still has a long way to go before its films can truly represent tanks accurately. So, until Hollywood takes more steps to represent tanks accurately, we can only hope that future films will feature more realism and fewer inaccuracies. After all, who wouldn't want to see a movie about a World War I tank crew and their struggles, or a remake of Patton that features more historically accurate tanks? Hollywood Guns Hollywood bends the capabilities of guns to romanticize many scenarios and has created iconic tropes such as last man standing firing hundreds of rounds without reloading, one person shooting two guns at once, and a well-placed bullet exploding a vehicle. These over-the-top depictions of guns are far removed from reality. One of the most comical examples of Hollywood's misrepresentation of guns is its tendency to show characters constantly firing without reloading. In reality, bullets are heavy and guns have to be reloaded frequently. This glossing over of such an integral part of operating firearms is a disservice to viewers. It gives them a false vision of what gunfights look like. Another area where Hollywood falls short is in its portrayal of being shot. Characters will often do the bullet dance after being shot, or a bullet wound will have blood spraying effects. In reality, bullets are small and fast enough that they can pass into a person's body without any resistance. Hollywood also loves to show characters making vehicles explode with a single well-placed shot to the fuel tank, which is impossible. If one were to actually shoot a vehicle's fuel tank, then it would become clear that the only thing to explode would be the gasoline out of the entry and exit holes. Finally, there's a Hollywood portrayal of suppressors, or silencers as they're commonly known. While true suppressors can be used to reduce the sound of a firearm, they don't make the gun soundless, and many factors can affect how quiet a suppressor can make a gun sound. Overall, Hollywood's depiction of guns are far removed from reality and robs the viewer of authentic, believable combat. A more realistic representation of gun use could go a long way in helping to shape a viewer's attitudes towards guns and foster a healthy respect of weapons. The truth behind guns and tanks is far more complicated than what Hollywood and video games would have us believe. These inaccuracies can have dangerous consequences if not addressed, from misrepresenting the weight and accuracy of guns to glamorizing the power of tanks. It's important to remember that guns are not easy to use and that tanks require a great deal of skill to operate effectively. If we are to learn from the misrepresentations of Hollywood and video games, then we must arm ourselves with the truth and do our best to portray guns and tanks in the media accurately. By understanding the true capabilities and limitations of firearms and tanks, we can help to create a more accurate and responsible depiction of these weapons in our public consciousness. Only then can we fully appreciate the power and complexity of guns and tanks more realistically and responsibly.